10 players who rejected contracts and instantly regretted it. The NBA is a high-stakes game where fortunes can be made or lost with a single shot. And for these 10 players, it was a decision to reject their contracts that would haunt them for the rest of their careers. From superstars to role players, they thought that they could do better, demand more, or simply find a better deal elsewhere. But as the season unfolded, they watched their former team soar to new heights while they struggled to find their footing. Get ready to hear about 10 NBA players who turned down contracts and immediately regretted their decision. Number 10. John Amechi John Amechi, the star center for the Orlando Magic, was on top of the world during the 1999-2000 through 2000 season. He was tearing up the court, leading his team to victory after victory. So when the Los Angeles Lakers came knocking with a contract offer of a whopping $17 million over six years, he must have thought he'd hit the jackpot, right? Wrong! Amechi must have been hit over the head with a basketball or something because he turned down that massive offer and settled for a measly 600 k for just one year with the Magic. I mean, come on, John. Do you really think you can do better than $17 million? Do you think you were LeBron James or something? I guess he figured the Magic needed him more than the Lakers did, but boy, did he regret that decision. He would never get a chance to sign another contract even remotely close to what the Lakers offered him. Number 9. DeMarcus Cousins DeMarcus Cousins had the opportunity to cash in with a $40 million deal over two years from the Pelicans, but he decided to roll the dice and chase a championship instead. Boogie must have thought that signing with the Golden State Warriors was a ticket to NBA glory, but unfortunately for him, the Raptors had other plans. The only thing that Cousins won during his time with the Warriors was a bunch of free sneakers from Steph Curry. In the end, Boogie's gamble didn't pay off, but at least he got to hang out with some pretty cool guys like Draymond Green and Klay Thompson. Number 8. Joe Smith Picture this. It's 1995 and Joe Smith has just been drafted as the number one overall pick by the Golden State Warriors. He's feeling good, and why wouldn't he? He's about to become an instant millionaire. Fast forward a few years later, and Smith is playing like a star. So the Warriors offer him a whopping $80 million contract extension. But wait, what's this? Smith turns down the deal and decides to take his talents elsewhere. It's like he wanted to be the ultimate underdog, rejecting millions to prove that he's worth even more. So what does he end up with? The Minnesota Timberwolves, where he signs a measly one-year contract for $1.75 million. That's like the price of a fancy latte in today's NBA world. Number 7. Brandon Jennings Brandon Jennings burst into the NBA scene like a firecracker. With his impressive rookie season, he was offered a sweet four-year, $40 million contract extension by the Bucks. But just like an indecisive kid in a candy store, he turned down the offer and decided to head over to the Pelicans instead. Maybe he just wanted a change of scenery, or perhaps he wanted to see the world beyond Milwaukee. Who knows? Unfortunately, Jennings' career took a nosedive after his move to the Pistons. It was like he got hit with a basketball curse when he suffered from a nasty Achilles injury. The once promising young star was never the same again. It's like when you bite into a delicious-looking cookie, only to realize that it's rock-hard and stale. Jennings' attempt to revive his career didn't pan out, and he became a basketball nomad, bouncing from one team to another like a kangaroo on a pogo stick. He even tried his luck overseas, but it seems the American basketball magic didn't quite translate to international courts. In the end, Jennings had to settle for a return to his old stomping grounds in Milwaukee, but it was clear that his NBA career was done like a turkey on Thanksgiving. Number 6. Shabazz Muhammad Shabazz Muhammad had a decision to make. Sign a $40 million contract or hold out for more money. He chose the latter, thinking he could score big in free agency. But just like my Tinder matches, his plan fell through. The poor guy had to settle for a measly $1.5 million one-year deal with the Timberwolves. Talk about going from steak to ramen noodles. And to make matters worse, he ended up getting waived in the middle of the season. But hey, at least he got to sign with the Bucks, right? Well, that didn't last long either. Muhammad's NBA career was over faster than a game of Jenga played by drunk toddlers. Number 5. Latrell Sprewell Latrell Sprewell was balling out for the Minnesota Timberwolves, playing alongside MVP Kevin Garnett and helping the team reach the Western Conference Finals in 2004. 
But when the T-Wolves offered him a solid $21 million contract over three years, Sprewell pulled a surprising move and rejected it. Why? He claimed that the money wasn't enough to feed his family. While we can't confirm how many mouths he was feeding, Sprewell never signed another NBA contract after the 2004-2005 season. Looks like he might have missed out on some serious dough. Number 4. Victor Oladipo Victor Oladipo, the two-time All-Star shooting guard, has been on a roller coaster of highs and lows in his career. He signed a massive, four-year, $85 million contract with the Oklahoma City Thunder, proving he was worth every penny. But then, injuries and bad luck hit him hard, and he found himself missing out on some seriously big paychecks. Now, Oladipo was a key player for the Indiana Pacers, and they knew it. So they offered him a sweet, multi-year contract with a starting salary of $25 million. Did he accept? No way! Oladipo had other plans, I guess. And when he got traded to the Houston Rockets, they offered him another huge contract. $45 million for two years. Did he take it? Nope. Oladipo must have thought he was too good for all that cash. But guess what? Oladipo's luck ran out. He got traded to the Miami Heat. And after just four games, he got injured and missed the rest of the season. Talk about bad timing. Oladipo's production dropped to a measly 12 points per game which is like missing the basket completely. But hey, he's not done yet. Oladipo is signed to rejoin the Heat, but this time for a veteran's minimum salary. That's right, folks. He went from $85 million to the bare minimum. I guess it's better than nothing, right? Number 3. Bonzi Wells Bonzi Wells was a key role player for the Sacramento Kings during their heyday, where he showed up big time in the postseason. The Kings were so impressed that they offered him a massive five-year, $36 million deal. But instead of taking the money and running, Wells declined the offer with hopes of getting an even bigger payday. Unfortunately for Wells, that payday never came. He ended up signing with the Houston Rockets for a measly two-year, $5 million contract, making his decision to turn down the Kings' offer the third biggest mistake in NBA contract history. After leaving Sacramento, Wells' career went downhill faster than a boulder rolling down a mountain. He struggled to find his rhythm on the court and ended up bouncing around several teams before eventually falling out of the NBA altogether. Number 2. Nerlens Noel Nerlens Noel had the opportunity to secure the bag with a whopping $70 million contract over four years from the Mavericks. But instead, he decided to roll the dice and test the free agency waters. Unfortunately for him, he ended up belly flopping in the shallow end of the pool, signing a paltry $4.1 million deal for just one year. It's like turning down a five-course gourmet meal for a measly hot dog in a bag of chips. And just like a hot dog, Noel's career has been a bit of a roller coaster ride, full of ups and downs, twists and turns, and questionable decisions. Noel may have thought he was playing 4D chess, but in reality, it was more like playing checkers with his financial future. But hey, at least he still gets to ball out on the court and chase the elusive big payday. Maybe next time he'll think twice before passing up a lucrative offer. Number 1. Dennis Schroeder Dennis Schroeder had high hopes for his future in the NBA after a successful stint with the Thunder, leading to a trade to the Lakers. After one year left on his contract, the Lakers saw potential in Schroeder and offered him a whopping $84 million over four years. But Schroeder had bigger dreams of a $100 million contract and turned down the Lakers' offer. However, Schroeder's plan to boost his value backfired when he struggled on the court, causing the Lakers to move on and sign Russell Westbrook instead. Now Schroeder finds himself without a team, and the $100 million he hoped for seems to be slipping away like a missed layup. Perhaps he should have taken the $84 million while he had the chance. Well, there you have it, folks. These NBA players had the opportunity to secure big contracts, but ended up rejecting them only to regret it later. It's a classic case of the grass is always greener on the other side. We hope these cautionary tales will serve as a reminder for all players that sometimes the best offer may already be on the table. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more entertaining content about the NBA and other sports. Thank you for watching.